Today is a special day for a Syrian refugee who now lives in Nova Scotia. Tarek Hadhat was one of 50 people who became Canadian citizens in Halifax today. Hi, Tarek. You'll actually just follow me. Yes. Hadhat is a chocolate maker whose family business in Syria was destroyed by a bomb. After arriving in Canada, he continued his passion. Today, he owns a thriving chocolate factory in Antigonish, Nova Scotia, called Peace by Chocolate. And we welcome Tarek now from our Halifax studio. Congratulations. Rashmi, good evening. Thanks so much for having me and being part of this big day. It's been amazing. How are you feeling today? <laughs> uh, overwhelmed with joy, certainly. There's, uh, there's that type of emotions that I've been waiting for since arriving in Canada to get that sense of identity and belonging back after losing it to the war in Syria. So I feel that I belong. I feel that uh, this is my home now, that I will be going around the world and sharing proudly that I am a Canadian citizen officially. Not that this country really hasn't made me feel that I'm a stranger since arriving in 2015. I've got the same access to opportunity like everyone else on this land uh, since arriving here. But today, officially, I am uh, part of this big Canadian family. What were you thinking when you were called up for your Canadian citizenship today? <sighs> You know, everything was going in my mind is about the adversity, the unthinkable moments in our lives. If you ask me five years ago that this would be happening, I would say this is impossible. Uh, but for Canada to open the doors for us, for us, uh, my family and I came here with nothing and established a social enterprise more than really a business called Peace by Chocolate, contributing uh, to the community of Antigonish and the province of Nova Scotia and hopefully the whole country, sharing messages of peace, inclusion, love, kindness, and, you know, social justice, that's exactly what this country stands for. All of that was going through my mind, but also really a sense of gratitude to everyone who showed up at the ceremony. Officials, the premier, minister of immigration, uh, MPs from all over the province, MLAs, and seeing all of these friends and family members that they have came to celebrate with me. That means the word for me, for sure. Mm -hmm. And so many Canadians can relate to what you're feeling today because Absolutely. so many Canadians are immigrants. So w when you think about 2015, when you first came here, can you share that th those first few days or weeks how you were feeling, what you were thinking? Uh, you know, after arriving here from uh, Lebanon, I started really being active in the community and volunteering and asking how to be uh, integrated faster. Uh, you know, we did not come to Canada to take jobs. We came to Canada to create jobs and being contributive. That's exactly what immigration does. It brings the best of human beings who are leaving their homes uh, back and just coming here to start their lives that we you know we are all the human beings have the same amount of blood and same number of bones we just are born in different places and canada is saying it proudly that uh, this is a place where people from all around the world who are born outside it takes the, they are canadians even when they are born outside it just takes them a little bit to get here uh, so uh, throughout the first few weeks of coming here i was always thinking how to give back to this amazing nation that has open the doors for us when we have knocked the doors of more than 15 countries around the world and while Canada was the only one really to open it with uh, you know love and kindness and saying that we are welcome Canada didn't ask us really to take off anything of our culture and heritage while we are so encouraged right now to keep that and share it with the country to make it stronger because every one of us has something to add yes and so when you meet people uh, do you tell them about Syria what do you tell them about Syria and, and, and where you came from. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a proud Canadian now, but also I, I am a proud Syrian. I was born in, in a country in Damascus where, where it was the, the oldest city in the world. Lots of heritage and culture there. Uh, you know, we've learned all of these values of giving back and, you know, even welcoming people from around the world. Syria welcomed nations during the Second World War. Syria welcomed Iraqis, Palestinians, uh, you know, people that they were fleeing from war. So they are, there is a similar story there. And I have met so many Canadians in Damascus when I was there. I have dreamed about coming here and now, now the dream is coming true. Yes, and tell us more about your family here in Canada, Tarek. I mean, how many people are so excited for right. you today? Yeah, yeah. Do you know, I, I have my immediate family members, my, my parents and my siblings. My uncle arrived last October, and I have my cousin who lives here in the province as well. So totally, we, have, we are 17 members of the family so far in Canada. Well, congratulations. Yeah. We're so happy to have you here.
<laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you for having me today. It's, it's been a, a big day. And again, I thank everyone who supported me along this journey. I will be uh, so proud to be uh, ambassador for this country, traveling around the world and sharing what this country stands for, of love and inclusion in a time of tensions and uh, anxiety. Tarek Hadhad in Halifax. He received his Canadian citizenship today and he made some time for us.